It's an ice trampoline. It looks painful and oddly satisfying at the same time. This egg is literally frozen in time. It's negative 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Like everyone likes fried eggs, but like, have we ever considered the egg sickle? That sounds tasty or no? Hey, egg sickle? I thought they broke their window. Wait, how did they roll down their window without breaking the ice? You know what I love about this? Is how powerful you feel breaking ice. You're like, show bang. Now give me that coffee. I earned that. Ice also reminds me when you're not powerful, when you slip in everywhere and falling. That's the worst. Okay, so how many times is this gonna repeat? Sending an 85 foot cliff. Wait, 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 wait. That's like six floors. That's like jumping off a small apartment building. My knees hurt just watching that. How is that possible? Just a boy and his dog. Oh, I think that dog is radiating some jealous, chaotic energy. He's like, if I can't ride that slide, then nobody can. An ice bicycle. Like, it's kind of cool, I guess, that you can like bike on snow, but like, don't ever fall backwards on top of your like razor blade death bike. I imagine they would make you sign a waiver when you buy this. I'd rather just slip and slide on the ice the old fashioned way. <gasps> Wait, that was too fast. It was a colorful igloo and I wanted to, yeah. but it left me too soon. Too too soon. Anyways, colorful ice cubes is what they're making. Why are the ice cubes so big? They kind of just look like giant freezies. Isn't it a flavor? Oh, this is the igloo that left me too soon. Oh, uh, now it makes so much sense. How did I not put two and two together? Balls look like stained glass windows. So beautiful. Also, like, did they just use a magical wand to make that? Where did I find one? I love how like they didn't expect that to happen. Like what do you think was gonna happen? You don't have to go to a mountain to experience an avalanche. You just have to do stupid things like that. What? This is like so much fun. Oh, I wanna go sliding with like my whole school. That's awesome. Do you see that one kid on the on the far left who was like holding on for dear life? Spirit animal. By the way, I'm learning how to snowboard. Not easy. I swear, if this baby does better than I do, then I, you know, I'm not gonna do anything. But I'm gonna be really annoyed at myself. Wait, what? How is this possible? Possible. Can she even walk yet? How is it? <laughs> really mad at myself. It's been so long since I've been schooled by a baby and yet here we are again. Somebody left the hose out last night. <gasps> oh, those are perfect no, ice cubes. Because they're like cylinders so they would fit perfectly in the top of a water bottle. <gasps> also, they just like keep coming and coming and coming, like delivered through water hose. All ice cubes should be delivered by hoses. Just like bloop, 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 bloop. <gasps> Is that a flamethrower? Work smarter, not harder. Like, what can flamethrowers do? They can clean your driveway, toast marshmallows, save you a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> the way they just like chug their drink like they were a complete badass. Cause they are. What, what, what are they doing up there? Are they getting rid of the ice on the roof? This looks kind of like fun, not gonna lie. I don't wanna dodge mini avalanches on a bungee cord. Why isn't this a sport? Whoa, that was so cool. Just so you guys know, this is how much I hate spiders and choose to live in a place where the air hurts my I face. I can't believe this so hard. This is why you should come to Canada. We have free healthcare, gravy on french fries, spiders relatively normal sized, and there's me, I'm here. But also jokes on her, the spider's probably waiting in the car where it's nice and warm. Me, I left my wallet in the gift shop. Friend, I got you. <laughs> she out of here. She's like, oh, it takes five days to cross the Great Wall of China. How about five minutes? What I really wanna know is if that was an intentional slide or if they just sat down for a second and they were like oh no i gotta go wait so they're having a snowball fight from but how are the people upstairs getting snow up there wouldn't it melt on the way surely being at the higher vantage point you always have an advantage but then you would have less snow where would you want to be on the ground where there's more snow or at the top where you have to bring the snow but you can toss it easier three weeks ago we had so much snow here in toronto that people's cars were literally being buried there's all these memes like this one. Man left the neighborhood all confident. Came back, no car, just bumper. Like, look, he just came back with a bumper for his car. Dude, what happened to the rest of your car? You're just like, you know what? I'll take what I can take. Left the rest of it for the snow. This one blew my mind. I'm like, you can't see his footprints. How did he get into the snow like that? Did he fall from the sky? Has he just been standing there for hours letting the snow pile up? He's defeated, he's stuck in the snow, and I hope he's okay. This one killed me too. Man travels his favorite Jamaican food spot 
just to find out it's close. It's like, you wouldn't, you didn't call? Oh, it just like falls in defeat. Like, what did you think? People's cars are literally buried. You thought that you could go have your favorite Jamaican food? No, bro, they're closed. They also have their bars buried. Also, I'm pretty sure I've been to this spot. I had a really delicious roti. Delicious. I get why he went there. It was, it's great. It's great, but I, I would call beep when there's a snowstorm. My sister actually said that she saw from her window people like cross country skiing on the highway and I'm like, wow. I don't know about you guys, but every time I step on untouched ice, I get like a little bit of a rush. Why does slow motion make everything look so like majestic and graceful? It's like watching Swan Lake. Oh, he and so he's just losing a boot. Where did the other one go? They're going tubing. The resort played let it go on the speakers when they saw them. It's hilarious. I feel like dressing as Disney characters like gives you the license to act like as ridiculous as you want, which makes me wanna dress as Olaf when I go to the grocery store so that like when I trip and fall, people think it's like, aw, so cute, instead of just like realizing, nah, I'm just clumsy like that. <laughs> oh, the doggies in the sea. Oh, they look so slippery. Oh, it's so cute, I want one now. Did you see how it ran? Kinda of reminds me of myself in gym class. Wait, what? Okay, are they making an igloo while floating in ice, wearing t-shirts, no gloves? I'm getting cold just watching this. I think I got my trusty arm warmers. <laughs> Prepared for winter. This is so cool though. Isn't it wild how something made of ice and igloo can insulate the heat and keep you warm in the winter? <sighs> So like I was saying, I get cold easy. Like I get cold if my house is like under 24 degrees Celsius, which that's 75 degrees Fahrenheit. I know, <laughs> I suck. Also, can we talk about how like crazy the math conversion between Fahrenheit and Celsius is? Like you gotta like take the number and then like multiply it by like something and then like add 32 or something. Like whoever came up with that just wants to see the world burn. It could have just been the same. Why can't we just measure temperature the same way? I need a degree in math to figure out the temperature. Do you think this should be allowed at indoor rings. She's putting on like an Olympic level skating performance and everyone around her is just like trying to stand without falling. Relatable. Not not, not her. Uh, everybody else. I'm everybody else. That's me. Just trying to stand without falling. I, I don't even need advice to do that. I'm just clumsy as it is. What? Okay, apparently we gotta watch out for Pomeranians if we're ever in a snowball fight. Their fur makes perfect snowballs! I love the look on her face. She's like, no regrets. Is person make an obstacle course for their cat to go sledding? <laughs> I mean, that's why you probably shouldn't put your camera in the middle of the obstacle course. I wonder how many more people would watch the Winter Olympics if there was like category for cats and dogs. At least one more person. I'm the person. Take eight seconds of your life to watch this baby bear catch snowflakes. Oh. Breakfast. Oh yes, ice. A very important food group. Really convincing. It's like they didn't even know they were sitting in ice water. I would be crying. Wait, kicked off ski, caught it. What? Are skis just an illusion? And we don't need them to begin with? This person's just like skiing on their boots. Are skis and snowboards just holding us back? Is that why I'm bad at snowboarding? Okay, probably not, I'm just, I'm probably just bad. But let me believe the lie. <laughs> it's funny, cause like cats are like known to hate water, but it seems like the only thing they hate about water is that it's not frozen enough. Cause this kitty loves it. My favorite part was that expression. It's like, what human, I'm enjoying myself. Is this a problem for you? This is old footage from 18. 1997 of a snowball fight. This is kind of wholesome. I've never seen adults in real life snowball fight. Why not with that man? Just okay, his hat fell off and I thought his head came off and I was like, uh, I don't know how to explain that. I don't know what to say. What do I do? Doggy catching a snowball. Dogs just love catching things you throw. Do you think we could trick them to take their medicine this way? I'm sure if you toss in the air, they would just be like, oh. <laughs> And this is why cats have tails. It's like nature's antennae. So you can see them when they're in the snow so we can save them. Very specific. I know evolution is a crazy thing. I feel like I need to add a disclaimer that I'm joking because I don't want somebody actually believing what I just said. It's like a crop circle in the snow, but Spider-Man made it. When Peter Parker goes to art school. Wait, what? What? What, did we, what? Was that a bathtub filled with snow with fake trees and a possum inside of it? I mean, do you, baby boo. I'm not here to judge. But I have so many questions. Is that a real black panther? I'm excited that the panther and the dog are friends, but I'm also really, really scared. I'd also read like a multi-part manga about their friendship. Oh, slides are the best part of a winter. Minimal effort and so much fun. <laughs> that was a Monday mood if I ever saw one. 
all the same Bernards. They're so fluffy and cute. I would fake an injury just to get saved by one of these boys. It's funny how some dog breeds like live for the snow. And other dog breeds are like, that's fine. I'm going to hold my pee until next spring. And after five <gasps> minutes in minus 45 <gasps> degree weather, what would happen to your body? I'm only staying out here. It just froze like that? I don't want to see what happens to your body. For one full minute. Hypothermia is no fun. Your body temperature is typically 98.6 degrees. When that starts to go down, bad things start to happen. Woo! When you start reaching 95 degrees, you start to shiver. Just go inside already. When you drop down to 91 no, degrees, you get amnesia, this. which is somebody, terrible somebody for Somebody go get him a hug, a blanket, a fireplace, some hot chocolate, and some you can not lose frozen your entire rum. Consciousness. You can okay, right then go inside. Anything below that, you're dead. So bundle up, wear some layers. <gasps> Don't end up like this ramen. <gasps> I'm so cool. Oh, okay, good. He's inside. I feel better now. I can, I, can, I can finally sleep at night. Imagine the video ended before he went inside. I didn't think I would have been able to carry on. Oh, and dog, dogs on a loose doggy plow. <laughs> I mean, they do live in our houses rent free. The least they can do is shovel the driveway. It kind of looks like he's enjoying it. I mean, oh, wiener plow. <laughs> well, this is why I can't remember where I parked. Covered by snow every single time. The roof's like, oh, you think you're gonna go out tonight? That's cute. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Ha! <laughs> Putting the chill into Netflix and chill. Fireworks under ice? I don't know what to expect. Whoa! Parents are always like, get off your phones and go play outside. But then when we do things like this, then they get mad about it. Like, pick a struggle. Different types of skaters. We have the show off, the forgetful. <laughs> That's me. The pro. <laughs> the one who do know where she gets all that energy from. That's also me though. Like a combination of that and the, the forgetful one. But it ends up me just chaotically wiping out very loudly and very abruptly. We're gonna see a really we cool snow fort. We should inside. Let's see. Ooh, fancy. Okay, here we go. Walking inside the hallway into There's the main room. hallway in the main room? This is what I call the cathedral because it's got high cathedral oh. ceilings. Baby girl, shelves. how'd you make There's this? There's even a fireplace being built over here. If we go back the other way, we can go into the part that's already completely finished. So I've good. got the flash on, so hopefully you can see. I would stay Look here. At this. How Put cool this on is the Airbnb. This? And we've definitely had some good times in this side. Moral of the story getting old is mandatory, but growing up is always optional. Some people are really out here with like grade A survival skills. Meanwhile, during apocalypse, they'd be like, does anyone need a good thumbnail? I can make it in the Photoshop. So what do you mean that's not gonna help against zombies? Ooh, it's an ice slide. Cold but fast. Freezing your butt off and make it fun. I can't believe they're still going. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love y'all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget me, Ashley. I'll see you in the next video.